Okay, guys. This is the review for the first unit, and we're gonna do that right here. Um, I'm gonna try to make this quick. Um, so here we go. How many lines are on the staff? Remember, the staff is the thing that music notes go on, and the answer to that is five. All right. Number two, how many spaces are on a single staff? That is four, right? One, two, three, four, five lines, and the spaces, one, two, three, four. All right, keep going. Number three, the fifth line, is the fifth line at the bottom or the top of the staff? That's gonna to be top. You number it from bottom to top. One, two, three, four, five. Number four, which clef is also known as the G clef? That's the treble clef. Remember, treble clef started off as, uh, as like a, as a G and then it got fancier and fancier and fancier until it looked like that right there. All right, number five, the note names of the five lines in treble clef from top to bottom are E, G, B, D, F. That's every good boy deserves fudge or every good boy does fine. Number six, the names of the four spaces is face, F-A-C-E. Number seven, the line through middle C is called a ledger line, right? Ledger line. Number eight, which clef is also known as the F clef? That is going to be your bass clef. Number nine, the note names of the five lines in bass clef from top to bottom are um, G, B, D, F, A, for good boys do fine always. Number ten, the note names of the four spaces in the bass clef from bottom to top are going to be A, C, E, G. So it's like all cows eat grass, all cars eat gas. Maybe let's do the, the cow one, keep it clean. All right, D is the answer for 11A, right? Write the letter of the, uh, of the notes. So you got to make sure that you're in treble clef, right? And when you're in treble clef, it's every good boy deserves fudge. And then it's always going to be in alphabetical order, you know, between lines and spaces. So E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on and so forth in the same backwards. So if you can't figure out a note, start with something familiar and work your way backwards or forwards through the alphabet um, going no higher than G in the alphabet. There's no H, at least not anymore. There used to be an H. We can talk about that in class. All right. This right here, it's up on the ledger line. That's middle C right there. This one down low, that's going to be your B. This one up high, that's going to be your B also. See, that's actually the same note because look at that. It's right below middle C. This one's right below middle C. Here we've got middle C. Bass clef, look at, there we go. Boom, that's right above middle C, so that's going to be D. So if you can remember that's middle C up top and middle C down below and middle C up top, um, that's gonna help you. I'm talking about the ledger line, not the notes, I'm sorry. So the ledger line is middle C. If you can remember that the ledger line is middle C, that's gonna help you uh, figure out these notes. And I'm gonna go through this quickly just to keep the video short. Um, this is pretty self-explanatory. This is just for good practice for you. Write the letter names of the notes. So here, we've got G down low. These are a little harder, E. Down low, we've got C, then we've got F, then we've got D. Here we've got F, here we've got A, here we've got B, here we've got G, here we've got C. Okay, now this one, draw the grand staff and name the notes. So there's a lot here, okay? Again, I'm going to go through this kind of quickly. Remember the grand staff is when you connect a treble clef staff which is used to play the higher notes with a bass clef staff to play the lower, lower notes. That's what a grand staff is. So we're just going to go ahead and connect our line here. Bloop. And then we're going to kind of make our little squiggly thing here. My penmanship is not the greatest when it comes to writing grand staffs, but there we go. All right, we're going to make our treble clef here. Bring that there. We're going to make our bass clef. Bloop, bloop. There you go. You don't have to have the most perfect penmanship, 
you know, as long as uh, you can kind of tell what it is. Um, F is going to be that first note. So we're reading back and forth between treble and bass clef. Make sure you're paying attention to your clef. I'm going to go through this quickly again. G, E, B, E, it's going to be F, it's going to be E, it's going to be B, it's going to be A. If I make a mistake, you can make fun of me. Uh, we're going to do C here, up top, C down below, A up in treble clef, D down in bass clef, F, ah, I made a mistake, it's D because I was thinking bass clef. Got to flip that brain switch, so that's D up in treble clef. We got A down here, and we got G right there. All right. Spell the words in the sentences below. So we're playing like a little game here. Try to figure out what the letters are. All right. So here we've got A, B, and up top E. So Abe took his lunch. Let's see what do we got up here. B, down low, A. Up top we got G. Abe took his lunch bag and went downtown in a C, A, B, in a cab. Two, F, E, E, D, the pigeons in the park while eating his E, G up high, G up low, they're trying to get you there, e, while eating his egg sandwich, A, B, E, E, a B flew by and barely missed his, there we go, look at, just goes to the spaces, you know, those are F, A, C, E, A, down those B, there we got E, Abe decided to go home. So, that's kind of nice, because, you know, you know, if you're unsure of your letters, this kind of is a nice way to correct yourself, because you know, you know, it's the word that doesn't make sense, you probably didn't do it right. So there you have it. That is the review for lessons one through five, unit one, page nine, Alfred's Essentials of Music Theory, book one. There it is. Hope that helps you check your answers.